Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Leapy Frog 12 here. We're here with a new type of tutorial, which is the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Havoc DLC Exo Zombies Game Over Men Trophy slash Achievement Tutorial. And I'm going to be showing you how to do the trophy and everything and how to steps for it. So the first thing is you can be done solo and it's actually easier to be doing it on solo. Uh, you can do it friends, but it's just going to be a little bit more difficult. So, um, anyways, yeah, let's get right into it. Step number one is you're actually going to have to get a black box, which is can be found in the spawn room. The text is mainly going to be for people who don't want to hear me talking. Uh, so, yeah, it's just going to be right behind that crash VTOLs right there in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, didn't really think you need to zoom in. You can just hold square randomly. And, yeah, and it, you have to take the black box to the to computer. It's in that morgue right there. I just bought it for a 1000 you know credits uh, you take it to the computer here and insert it into there and that is step one so you need the key cards to unlock the encryption from the black box and there are actually four key cards throughout the entire map so the four key cards can be all found differently. Uh, I don't know any of the names for them, so the girls one it can be found from the 3D printer. You actually have to get the EM-1, which is the laser gun from the 3D printer. And I actually got real lucky here, and I got it on my, uh, first, or my second try. So once you get it for the girl, and you have to gr pr use the printer and shoot it, spray it up with the thing, and the uh, key card should appear in there. You pick it up like a normal weapon, and it automatically puts it in your inventory. So now this is a reminder for if you are playing with multiple people. Each character must pick up their own cards, so it's actually easier, again, if you play solo. So if you play solo, you can collect all the cards without a worry, and you don't have to worry about anything else. And for that CEO, or the executive key card, is actually going to be in the room next to the uh, Exo Health, and it's near the uh, TAC-19. You need the exosuit from here on, so might as well just go get it. And you probably need an LMG. There's going to be a little pole sticking up underneath. There's usually gears and stuff here, but for some reason it didn't spawn for me, so it's just pretty easy to see. Just shoot it out until it falls. And if there's multiple players on here, they all have to exoslam onto the top of the container all at the same time for the other container, which is right there I'm standing on, for it to pop up. And you can grab the key card with the either the CEO or if you're playing by yourself or if there's no other player as the CEO, they can grab it as well. So you just have everyone coordinate, exo slam, pop up, you just grab it, and there's your second key card. Now, third key card is going to be the security guard's key card, and in order to get this. Uh, you have to have either two people or by yourself again. Uh, you have to go up to these trash chutes and you can actually buy them. And you have to have two people either use them at the exact same time or you can do it by yourself by purchasing one, pull back a little bit so it opens up, then buy it again so you fall down. You're going to come into the inferno room, in furnace room, or in furnace room. You're going to come into the furnace room and you're actually going to spray the floor. That's why it's better to have an LMG. And you're just going to shoot the floor because the key card is somewhere underneath all this dust. And you'll eventually see it. It's just random every time. So I actually got lucky here and got it my first try as well. So I barely saw it there. And I'm going to show you again in slow motion and I'll zoom in and show you. But that's the key card right there. You just hold square on it. It's pretty lenient. As long as you're standing near it and you hold square, you automatically pick it up. So once you pick it up, that's your third card. And we're on to the very last card. And you just go right there and it'll take you back to where you normally exit at. Now for the final card, it is the janitor's key card, and it's actually better if you do this as quickly as possible. And you should have a um, camouflage kill streak or thing from a care package, and you can only get this during an infection round because you need to be infected to get it. So what you do is you need to get infected from the aliens that I'm shooting here. Uh, you get hit by them, you become infected, and luckily a uh, camouflage dropped the round beforehand, so I saved it. Pick it up and you turn it on because you need to run around and look for these thumbprint scanner scanner buttons or whatever. You need to press four of them. And if you're playing with multiple people, each person has to play press at least one button. Unless you're playing with two players, then two players have to press two buttons, etc. It's easier playing one person than the one person presses all of them. Uh, you need the exosuit again because you need to press that bu both of those 
uh, for that one to jump up there. Those are all four where they're located. You don't need to go in a certain order. I just pressed them wherever I found them. And that was the fourth one. And then once you do it, this window will actually open up. I lightened it up a little bit so you can see where the key card is at. It's right there. It's the janitor's key card. You pick it up. And don't forget to uh, uninfect yourself, to decam decontaminate yourself. And that was the final key card. Now, the next step is, after if you go to the computer, you don't really need to go to the computer. You can just go right into this step. Is you actually need to kill a crap ton of aliens or zombies, and the reason why I put kill confirmed is because they're gonna drop key cards onto the floor, and they look like you know little drops, and you're not really gonna notice them. But if you kill them, some of them will drop. And you pick them up. I kind of highlighted it here for you so you can see that. Uh, right here, I pause it so you can see what it looks like. I have a better view of it later on, but you gotta just pick up uh, all of them so you can get your level of your key card to level 49. Once you get 49, then you're done. Uh, with that part, so it just it only took me three rounds to do it, so I just kept on killing them and they dropped all over the place. So just keep running around picking them up and killing zombies. And that was a better example of it right there. And it actually disappears after a while, it's like a power drop kind of thing, so don't take too long. And yeah, I just fast forward to the round of me running through and killing all of them. So finally, once you finally hit level 40, uh, level 49 on your key card, uh, it will actually no longer drop any more key cards, so you don't really need to kill anymore. So it's just going to be just a normal round from now on. And you, when you finally go to the computer to log in to decrypt it, you actually cannot do it because it says that you haven't logged in today. And in order to log in, there's going to be random handprint scanners similar to the thumbprint, but they actually look like hands. Uh, for it to actually work, it has to turn green when you do it, and there's actually no specific location for each person. Each person has to do it and get it so it turns green, so it's just random every time. You just have to go looking around. I got lucky again. I got on my like second try, so just everyone has to do it, and once everyone does it, so if you're playing by yourself, then you're good. So yeah, I just ran around, finally got it my second uh, attempt. Uh, I just looked around for a little bit, you know, looking for some handprint scanners, and they're they're all over the place, they're all over the map, so there's no one specific location. So yeah, it tells you I haven't logged in today, and once you do the handprint scanner, it logs in, and then you're on to the final step. It's actually, you're almost done already. So I actually got lucky, like I said, I found on my second scanner, who's actually in here. Uh, so yeah, did it, and it turns green right there, so that's how you know it actually worked, and it'll make a beeping noise that confirmed they did it correctly. Hello, Lilith. Lilith is her name, nice. so that that's Clarified. what will tell you it is. You finally go up to the back box, and it could decrypt it. If you have clearance to hear this message, then the test is a success. You have 24 hours to proceed to the rendezvous point and initiate phase two. Good luck. So once they do that, you just gotta call in a rescue, and simply you just gotta go over to the exo testing room where you get the exo suit. And there's gonna be four of them again for each character, so they stay there regardless. All you gotta do if you're playing solo, just go up to it and hit it on any of them, and it'll eventually you know power on so you can uh, call in the rescue. Or for all four players, I'll have to press at the same time. And it'll actually unlock a secret weapon upgrade station, which you can actually upgrade your weapon past level 20. And it, you can only do it at, wep at weapon level 20, and it'll upgrade into having a diamond camo, and it gives you mark 25. I didn't get in this gameplay because I died like shortly after doing the easter egg. I didn't really upgrade in my weapons at all, I was just doing the easter egg, so... And that's pretty much it, you just run outside. At this point, it would start playing the... the music, it would be like, da 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 but I turned off my music because I didn't want to get copyrighted. Um, do not die in this part. This is the very last part, so it's better to just do it at the end of the round like I did all my steps with. So once you go outside, you see the helicopter coming in for the landing. So you can finally come in and be rescued. You can finally land, and you can get out of here. But then all of a sudden, you hear that. You see that orbital drop? And it goes boom right through the helicopter, and it actually crashes. So you lose, a, you lose your escape for 100 credits. Totally worth it. So it's actually, uh, this is not an end game easter egg, it's actually, you don't even get to escape, it's mainly just so you can get the trophy, and that's it.
so they didn't want you to escape. Uh, I don't know if it's going to lead on to the next map, but I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, trophy and achievement guide tutorial. If you please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you want to see more of these, and I'll see you all next time. Stay froggy.